This is Mike the Greek and this is the special Oscars edition of the Film Lab. These fancy boys with their special toys have asked me to come in and tell you how to direct from scratch an Oscar award winning best picture winning movie that will win you the Oscar award for the Academy. A movie that's going to win you the Academy Award for best picture next year. How do I know how to do this considering I'm not Clint Eastwood? I'll tell you. Research, statistical analysis and regression, data, numbers crunching, observation and thinking about things. So here we go. So you wanna make your movie? Get a pen, get a paper, write down the name of your film. Three words or less, because that's worked for 22 out of the past 25 Academy Award Best Picture winners. That's 88%. Got your title? Next, you're gonna to wanna to make it a period piece, because 68% of the winners have been period pieces. Although, only one out of the past six winners has been a period piece in the past six years. And that movie, No Country for Old Men, took place in the 80s, which is basically now anyways. And also, for the purposes of this test, I'm counting the Lord of the Rings movie as being a period piece, because even though it happens in some kind of tree universe that I don't really recognize, I'm assuming it happened a long time ago. Now, what's your movie gonna be about? It better be about, in some way, somebody that is royalty, or at least American royalty, like the president of the freaking United United States because 36% of the last 25 winners of the Academy Award for Best Picture were about in some way or featured royalty or the president. That may not seem like a huge number, but remember, that's a huge number compared to what normal movies are about, which is not usually about royalty. Whether it's the queen, the president, an emperor, the last emperor of China, an empress, a duchess, or whatever Sauron was, people want to know about rich, fancy people that are in charge because of the way that they were born. And if possible, make them freaking British, because people freaking love British people, dude. 56% of the past 25 winners have been about or acted by or directed by British people. If you don't know any British people, they hang out in pubs and at soccer games, so go talk to one of them. It's also important that a central character in your film have some kind of significant handicap. The more overcomable, the better, like Forrest Gump's dim-witted positivity, or the craziness of guys like the guy from Rain Man or A Beautiful Mind that also provided some kind of crazy genius about math and numbers. 32% of Oscar winners from the past 25 years have featured a significantly handicapped person. 44% of winners are somehow about the horrors of war, either specifically like a hood locker or a platoon, or metaphorically, like in an English patient or the last emperor. 88% of past winners had a croaked out doodle babe in it, or had a person that died just before the movie started, which motivated the existence of the movie. And the ones that don't are like Driving Miss Daisy, in which the main characters are like freaking 100 years old, a beautiful mind in which John Nash kills off mentally his hallucination friends, or Shakespeare in Love, in which Shakespeare freaking writes Romeo and Juliet, which is about people dying. So those movies are basically about people dying anyways. Lastly, don't worry too hard about women. 96% of the past winners were directed by men, and less than 50% of these movies passed the Bechdel test, which is a test that was created by Alison Bechdel, a cartoonist in the 80s who noticed that most movies didn't have more than one woman that spoke to each other about something other than men. Less than half of the movies that won the award passed the test, although the number is significantly higher for Academy Award winners than for movies in general. So you might want to have women talk to each other, but don't worry about it too much, because more than half don't. Oh, and for the record, 0% are about frickin' vampires and 0% are in treaty, so don't worry about that shit. So in summary, if you want to win the Academy Award for Best Picture, make sure you're a man, make sure your movie is three words or less for a title, set it in the olden days, and make it maybe about a semi-retarded prince with exactly one woman friend that he has a romance with, or if there's two woman friends, make sure that the two women talk to each other, but only about the semi-retarded prince. Make sure that the semi-retarded prince has a series of other men friends who die heroically in battle. Make sure they're all British. And remember, make sure that your movie is long as freaking hell, because only 16% of the past 25 winners were under two hours long. And a lot of them were like freaking almost three hours long. So. Don't worry about editing yourself, just keep going. I look forward to seeing your great movie. I bet it's gonna be awesome if you use my help. Remember, this data is all there on Wikipedia, you just gotta look at it.